This question is from 2014 Amy Wan, and it is the final problem on the test, problem 15. The solution I wish to share with you guys is the one my younger brother and I found together yesterday while working on this question in our free time. And I wish to make sure I recognize my younger brother because he finished 50% of the question and I finished the other 50%. And it was kind of intertwined, him finding some very important part of the question and then I adding on to it and finding something important, then going back and forth. And I think the solution is maybe not the most elegant one, but I think it's pretty reasonable. Anyway, let's read the question. In triangle ABC, AB is 3, BC is 4, and CA is 5. And right away, we have ABC being the right triangle because we have 3 squared plus 4 squared equals to 5 squared. 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagorean triple, so we know ABC is going to be right. Let's read on. Circle Omega intersects AB at E and B, BC at B and D, and AC at F and G, and we have EF is equal to DF. Ooh, that's a lot of information that, that's very hard to visualize. Unless we draw a picture, so let's do so. So we have triangle ABC, and we know it's a right triangle, so let's draw it something like this. And we have 3, 4, 5, so this is 3, this is 4, this is 5. And we can label it A, B, C. And we have circle omega intersects A, B at B and some point E. So some point E along the way. And B, C at B and D. So B, C at B and some other point along the way. Let's label it D. And we also have the circle intersecting A, C at F and G. And we know E, F is equal to D, F. So let's put F about here and let, let's try to draw a circle and let's try to so maybe the circle can go circle can go something like this that's not the best circle at all but it looks reasonable enough and we have g right here okay so we know ef is equal to df so let's draw ef and df and we know these two are equal to each other Okay, what other information do we know? We know DG over EG is 3 fourths. Let's try to draw DG and EG. DG is this line right here. And EG is this line, not, not this one, the one that connects E and G like this. And we know DG to EG is 3 fourths. So if DG is 3K, then EG is 4k and this 3 and 4 it seems like we have seen it before and yes we have for the size of the right triangle ABC so maybe we have a similar triangle going on because we have this ratio of 3 to 4 so let's keep this in mind and we wish to find the length DE which is in the form a times square root of b over c and we have to find a plus b plus c so DE the length we are looking for is this orange length right here. So that's what we wish to find. Okay, so are there anything we can take from this diagram? Well, we know the angle B is right because ABC is right triangle. And since this arc, the arc EFD, the, se the semicircle looking arc, corresponds with this right angle, we know it's going to be twice the measure of 90 degrees, or this, or this arc measures 180 degrees. And in turn, that's telling us that ED is a diameter. This orange line is a diameter. So we can put the center of circle at the midpoint of ED. And that's telling us that this arc, arc EBD, this measures 180 degrees. So we know this angle is 90 degrees and we know this angle is 90 degrees because it has to be half of the subtending arc. So we have this 3K and 4K right triangle right here. So we know the hypotenuse, the length ED, is also going to be 5K by the Pythagorean theorem. And that's telling us we do indeed have similar triangles, 3, 4, 5, and 3, 4, 5. So if we have, to make it easier to see, let's label some angle, let's call this theta. And then we know this angle is also theta. Notice that we know sine of data and cosine of data. In fact, sine of data is 3 fifths, 
because looking at the entire right triangle ABC, or looking at opposite over hypotenuse, and cosine of theta is 4 fifths. So if we can find DE, which is the length we're looking for, in terms of sine of theta or cosine of theta, we can evaluate the measure of DE. Let's keep this in mind before going on. Now, since we have this data notated right here, we know this arc, arc DG. So let me let me highlight it. Let's highlight it green. So we know this arc DG. This arc DG measures two th two times data, two times this measure. And now, what else can we figure out? Well, we have some. We have two seconds going through a circle, and we know when we have a circle, and we have two seconds going like this, and we have some angle alpha, some angle beta, and some angle theta right here. Alpha minus beta over two is equal to theta. So maybe we can utilize this somehow to find the find the measure of this arc of the arc FB. So let's do so right away. We know measure of BF minus 2 data over 2 is going to be this data. So that's telling us that BF is equal to 2 data plus 2 data or 4 data. So we know this BF is equal to, so this, this rotation of BF is equal to 4 data. And that's telling us in turn that this, this part, this angle that corresponds with this arc is equal to 2 data. 2 data. And what else can we do? Well, by looking at triangle DEF, maybe this was one of the first thing I should have done. We know EF and F, FD are congruent from the given statement. EF is equal to DF. And since we have right triangle, we have 45, 45, 90 triangle. So let's try to visualize EFD. So EFD equals something like this. It's 45, 45, 90. So let's, let me make it look like so. So we have 45, 45, 90 right here. So we know this has to be 45. This thing is 45. And we know the entire thing, this part measures 5k, the length of it measures 5k. So we know each of the legs measure 5k over square root of 2. Also, since we know this angle measures 45 degrees, we know this angle, this angle EDB measures 2 data minus 45, and maybe we can do some angle chasing, and let's do so. And that's telling us that this angle, angle BED, is equal to 180 minus 90 minus 2 data minus 45, just looking at this triangle, which is equal to 90, 135 minus 2 data if you do the arithmetic. So this is 135 minus 2 data. And we have 45 degrees right here. This angle is 45 degrees. So that's 45 degrees. So we know this, this angle. This angle is 2 data because 2 data plus 45 plus 135 minus 2 data has to be 180. 45 plus 135 is 180 to begin with. So we got to cancel out this minus 2 data. So this thing has to be 2 data. And from the entire triangle given to us, we have the angle data right here. So we know we have angle 90 minus data right here. And that's telling us that this angle has to be 180 minus 90 minus data minus 2 data also known as 90 minus data. And that's pretty important because we have 90 minus data right here. So we have an isosceles triangle AEF. So that's telling us that AE is equal to EF, which was equal to FD. And we know EF measured 5k over square root of 2. So that's telling us AE, let me highlight it blue right here. So that's telling us this AE is equal to 5k over square root of 2. So we have found this AE in terms of K. So if we can find EB in terms of K, so let's call EBX, we can find K because we know 5K over the square root of 2 plus EB, so let's call it X, is equal to 3. So if we can find X in terms of K, we can find K and realize the value we want to find is DE. That's what they asked us to find, DE, the length DE. And this DE is equal to 5k as we have found. So once we have k, we are done. So how can we find this x? So because once we find x in terms of k, we can find k, which will allow us to find de and finish the question. One way of doing so is to look at this triangle EBD. So look at this yellow triangle EBD. So let me draw it right below like this. 
So we have EBD, and we have 90 degrees, and we have 2 data minus 45, and we have X, and we have 5K right here. So we can find X in terms of sine of 2 data minus 45. In fact, sine of 2 data minus 45 is going to be 5 is going to be x over 5k, opposite over hypotenuse, x over 5k, or you can do the same thing with cosine of 135 minus 2 data. So, we know x is going to be 5k times sine of 2 data minus 45. Let's try to find sine of 2 data minus 45. Realize that we have found sine and cosine of data to begin with, so let me write that down. We know sine of data is 3 fifths, cosine of data is 4 fifths, so once we can reduce this statement, to some equations involving sine and cosine of data, we can find we can evaluate this. So we know x is 5k times sine of 2 data minus 45, which is when we expand it, sine of 2 data cosine of 45 minus cosine of 2 data sine of 45. And cosine of 45 is square root of 2 over 2 square root of 2 over 2, and sine of 45 is also square root of 2 over 2, so we can factor that out. So we have equals to 5k times square root of 2 over 2, and we have sine of 2 data minus cosine of 2 data, and we can find both of these in terms of sine and cosine. We have sine of 2 data being 2 times sine of data times cosine of data, and cosine of 2 data being 2 times cosine squared of data minus 1. For if you do not have this memorized, cosine of 2 data to 2 cosine squared data minus 1, realize that cosine of 2 data is cosine squared data minus sine squared of data. You can just use this right away. Or cosine squared data minus sine squared data is 1 minus cosine squared of data, because sine squared data plus cosine squared data is 1. And just solving this gets us 2 times cosine squared of data minus 1 by simplification. So, now let's just plug in our values and we should be done. So, we know sine of data is 3 fifths, and cosine of data is 4 fifths. So we have 2 times 3 fifths, times 4 fifths, minus 2 times cosine squared minus 1. So let's multiply this out just a bit. We have 5k times square root of 2 over 2. We have 25 and we have 24 up top, 2 times 3 times 4, minus this part is 16 over 25, multiplying by 2 gets us 32 over 25, and we're subtracting 1, this is going to be 7 over 25, 24 over 25 minus 7 over 25 is 17 over 25, so we have this thing, times 17 over 25, multiplying together gets us 85k square root of 2 over 50, or we could have cancelled out, instead of multiplying it right away, we could have cancelled out this 5 and 25, just a bit, so 5 and 5, like this, and we have 17k square root of 2 over 10, that's the value of x. So, we know, let's go, let's go back to this equation right here, we know 5k over square root of 2, or 5 times square root of 2k over 2, rationalizing it, plus x, and we know our x is 17 k square root of 2 over 10 is equal to equal to 3. So now we can find the value of k. So let's use this equation. We, 5 times square root of 2k over 2, we can just multiply by 5 to top and bottom to get 25 square root of 2k over 10. So adding them up gets us 42k square root of 2 over 10 is 3. Solving for k, which means k is equal to 3 times 10 over 42 square root of 2. Let's simplify this just a bit. 3 and 42 cancel out to leave 14 down below, and 10 and 14 cancel out to have 5 up top and 7 below. So we have 5 over 7 times square root of 2, rationalizing it, gets us 5 times square root of 2 over 14 for the value of k. And we are extremely close to being done, because we wish to find de, which is the value of 5k. So all we have to do is multiply this thing by 5. So 5 times k is going to be our answer, or 25 times square root of 2 over 14. So 25 times square root of 2 over 14 is our final answer. So 25 times square root of 2 over 14. But they wish us to find a plus b plus c. So we wish to do 25 plus 2 plus 14, which is 27 plus 14, or 41. And since it's Amy question, 
we write it as 041.